What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. Today we're talking about Nintendo Switch, Nintendo Switch's price, and their newly revealed Nintendo Switch Online price. Now I know I'm a little bit behind this news. I was aware of it when it was made available, but I've been super busy and now I want to talk to you guys about it and give you my thoughts on what Nintendo's doing as far as the pricing of their online services. Uh, I'll drop a link in the description. Nintendo Switch Online price revealed. Hidden costs revealed as Nintendo makes bold claim. Nintendo Switch owners will have to pay for this service if they want to get the most out of their games. Nintendo Switch owners will have to pay between $17 and $25 a year to play online multiplayer on their new Nintendo console. That's if Nintendo Switch Online service subscription price remains consistent across all regions. The Nintendo Switch news was announced by Nintendo President Tatsumi Kimishima, who told Nikai that the service would cost between $17 and $25 per year. Nintendo Switch Online service lets players play online multiplayer and access a dedicated smartphone app that lets you connect with friends. It will be preceded by a free trial that should launch alongside the Nintendo Switch in March. Quote, You'll be able to play compatible co-op and competitive games online by signing in with your Nintendo account. End quote, reads a Nintendo statement. Quote, online play will be free for Nintendo account holders until our paid online service launches in fall of 2017. After the free trial period, most games will require a paid online service subscription from Nintendo in order to play online. End quote. Subscribers will also get access to a Nintendo or Super Nintendo game from the Virtual Console, but only for a month. Kimishima also made a bold prediction regarding the Nintendo Switch's sales. The Nintendo boss believes the Nintendo Switch sales will be on par with the Wii, which sold more than 100 million units. Quote, More info from Nikai interview with Nintendo President Kimishima reads a tweet from Dr. Serkan Toto, which says, quote, He expects the Switch to sell about as well as the Wii. Very bold statement, the Wii sold 101 million times. He says that just like the Wii, the Switch offers a very unique way of playing games, end quote. The Nintendo Switch price has been a point of contention for some consumers. The console will launch with a $299 price tag, but it doesn't come bundled with any free games. Additional accessories like the extra set of Joy-Con controllers will set you back more than $80, and some users will need to shell out cash for an SD card to expand their storage. Meanwhile, the official Nintendo Switch specs page confirms that the console will launch with a 4310 mAh lithium-ion battery. This could potentially cause issues when the battery starts to lose power and users must send it to Nintendo for a paid replacement. On the Nintendo product page, it says, quote, please note the internal battery cannot be removed, end quote. So it's something you can't do on your own. This is, I don't know how I feel about this personally, okay? I don't mind the price of the Nintendo service. I just feel like if you're going to pay for a service, you need to get something for that service. Nintendo is very, very late to the ball here. Uh, Microsoft was the first home console to in, uh, institute an online fee to play online. Sony quickly followed suit. But Sony and Microsoft have kind of uh, adapted with the, the trends of gamers and people and the consumer. We know that we're paying $60 a year for PlayStation Plus and for Xbox games with gold. Uh, but we're not just paying to play online. We're not paying to just be able to communicate with our friends. Those are all added bonuses. But to me, the biggest part that we're paying for is the free stuff. You're getting at least two free games and usually three or four with the uh, Xbox One and with PlayStation you're getting six and even sometimes more than that per month across all PlayStation platforms but you don't just keep those for a month. You keep them as long as you have your subscription and I think that Nintendo's really uh, dropping the ball here. Now you're only paying $25 uh, a year purportedly $25 a year. I don't know exactly how that's going to translate once this thing actually launches and they announce their real intentions on uh, their paid service. But if it's $25 a year and you get a game for a month, I guess it's their way of saying here, try this game for a month if you like it, then you can buy it. And that's kind of the way Nintendo does things. Nintendo, they walk to the beat of their own drum. They they overcharge for their products. You know, the Wii U was still $300 before they quit manufacturing them. So Nintendo, they really are proud of their products, even though for a majority of the time, especially lately, the last few years, their products have lacked compared to the competition. They have been lapped by Sony and Microsoft when it comes to the technological prowess of their consoles. And at least the Nintendo Switch is coming up a few specs compared to what we've been used to. It's a portable console. It's a natural progression of the 3DS and, and the Wii or Wii U. So to me, it makes a lot of sense. 
I guess time will tell how I feel about this uh, institution of, of this $25 a year cost and what you're actually going to get. If Nintendo can make a decent online service, I mean, their services before have been very, very bad. I'm just being honest with you. Whenever I played Smash Brothers, I had to hook up my PlayStation 4 and talk to the people I was playing Smash with through PlayStation Chat. So that's pretty bad. If Nintendo can find a way to actually make it cohesive and work and you don't have to send codes and receive a code through email, put it in your phone, go through this, you find the person and then you can talk, then maybe I'll use it. We'll just have to see what happens. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Nintendo Switch's network cost up to $25 per year, which is about half of what we've been paying. But you get a lot less. You get a game, but you can only keep that game for one month and then it goes away. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to give a thumbs up, guys. Show support for the channel. I do a lot of work here. I'm trying really hard to make you guys happy and keep you engaged. So if that matters to you at all, please give a thumbs up to show support for my channel. Join the Facebook group. Follow me on Twitter. And you can show your support at BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer. And I'll see you guys next time. Let it go.